Hello and welcome to this session of body weight tempo training. My name is Dr. Chris Lyle. So today what we're going to do is a quick 25 minute workout. Uh, we're going to use four different exercises, slow tempo using a metronome to pace our tempo. Um, for, we're going to do four exercises for five different rounds. Uh, one exercise will have two sides so that'll be a total of 25 minutes. So let's get you started by warming up. If you have a broomstick, it's helpful just for balance and some of the things we're going to do here. So with the broomstick, we're going to go up and over. If you can't go overhead, just reach back as far as you can. If you can go overhead, you're going to bring it all the way around and then bring it back. All the way around, bring it back. As you're going all the way around, try not to let your back arch. You just want to keep your belly and buttocks tight and just try to move from the shoulders as much as you can. You can actually shrug here to give yourself a little bit of space and then drop the shoulders down so you're getting the shoulder blades moving into a circular fashion. If you have some good flexibility, you can bring your hands in a little bit closer. The wider you are on the broomstick, the easier. It's just as long as you can clear your head. Okay, so we'll do a few of these. All right, and then I want you to bring the stick to the shoulders. And if you can, you're going to go into about mid-back, not on top of the shoulders, but right on the thoracic area. And this is just to block the back from rounding. And then I just want you to take a bow. So when you go bow, you're going to go back through the heels. Make sure your butt goes behind your heels and get a stretch in the hamstrings. Bring it up and down and up. You want to feel the hamstrings act like a spring and they'll catch you and then bring you back up. Inhale down, exhale up. As you loosen up, you go a little bit faster. Start slow, feel the stretch, and then you can increase the speed. And then we're gonna hang out down here, feel that stretch, and we're gonna add a little bit of a twist. When you twist, you wanna try not to have the knees move, but just the stick move back and forth. Get a little bit bigger with it, a little rotation, and then come back up. Right, and then we're going to take the stick, go behind the back this time, belly butt tight, palms are going to face out or back, and then you're going to go up towards the ceiling, try to squeeze your triceps, lift the stick away from the butt. Bring it back down, lift away, crown of the head reaches to the ceiling, feet reach through the ground, bring it back, and back. Try to have the chest move forward, but don't squeeze the shoulder blades together. Instead, think about reaching the arms away from the body, so you reach the arms long. But you want to be able to breathe in such a manner where the front of the chest goes this way and the space between the shoulder blades stays open, it allows you to breathe better. Inhale, bring it back. Inhale, fill the chest, fill the space between the shoulder blades, and then bring it back. Okay, and the last one we'll do, stick for balance, get the legs swinging small, and as you loosen up, you can let the legs swing a little bit higher and see if you can touch the opposite fingers to the toes, getting a little bit of a stretch in the hamstring. If you need to stay low, you stay low. If you feel Flexible enough, you have enough balance, you can come up and just let the leg swing. The knee can bend as you kick through. And let the arm swing back to help build momentum. And switch. Start small. Let the momentum build. Ten more. Okay, now we're getting warmed up. All right, first exercise we're going to start with is a split squat. So a split squat is going to look like this. We're going to get into a split position, one foot 
is going to be forward, the other foot is back. The foot that's back, you want to be on the ball of the toe. You don't want to be reaching the heel down. So you can also do this against a wall if you really want to add a challenge or try to sink your form in. You flatten your heel against the wall and the movement's going to be straight down, straight up. Your heel will come a little bit away from the wall as you get to the bottom, but for the most part it'll keep you where you want to. When you drop down, your knee should be under your hip, hip under your shoulder, shoulder under your ear, and then we have the front leg, ankle under the knee. That would be ideal. All right, so common compensations are to kick the hip back, have the head and shoulders come forward, or to over lunge forward coming down this way. Instead, we wanna be able to drop straight down so we're feeling this back leg working as much as we can. All right, so that'll be our first exercise. We're gonna do that on both sides for a minute each side. The second exercise we're gonna do is a chair or bench dip. So I'll show you on this chair here, or on this bench. We're gonna have the feet start this way. So the easiest version of this is to have the knees bent like so. Bend the elbows, you get down as low as you can. You're gonna come up and open up the shoulders. Don't worry about how low you go. If your shoulders feel tight, you can stop right there. And then I want you to get up to the top and lock out a little bit. If you wanna make it harder, you bring your feet straighter, you get a bit lower, and then you come up. That's gonna put a little bit more work into the upper body. So that'll be exercise number two. Exercise number three, we'll get the, if you have a physio ball, you can use this. If not, I'll show you the other way you can do this. So any type of stability ball that rolls be helpful here. We're gonna bridge up, bring the ball under, send it out slow, trying to keep yourself up at the top into a bridge the whole time. And again, we're gonna be moving at a slow tempo as we go through this. So trying to keep tension throughout the movement out and tension coming in. If you don't have a ball, just use a chair or a bench again. And instead of rolling in and out, we're just bridging up and rolling down throughout the whole exercise without the in and out of the ball. So that'll be exercise number three. And then exercise number four is gonna be a bent over row. So we bend over, and if you have no weights, you're just gonna do it this way. We're going to bring the elbows out wide. Try to think about feeling the tension under the armpits in the lat area, not so much squeezing the shoulder blades together, but just getting to the point where we can feel the lats activate and then slowly bringing the arms down. If you have a band, we can add some resistance to this by stepping on the band, keeping a nice shoulder width stance, crossing the band, and you can choke up a little bit. If you have a band with handles, you can hold onto the handles. Otherwise, you can choke up and grab down lower on the band and then you're gonna keep this nice hip hinge position. Squeeze up. Again, trying to feel more under the armpit as opposed to between the shoulder blades. And then slowly let the arms come back down. And this is where we're gonna be. So this is as much about this position here as it is about the movement of the arms. So we wanna keep good technique, a good hip hinge here. We should feel the legs working. We don't want the knees to come forward. We don't want the back to round. All right, so if that feels tricky, then you just stay with just the hip hinge, no resistance, just work with the arms, and you can stand up at any point and let your back rest if you need to. All right, so let's get started. First exercise, split squat. So I'm gonna put this ball here for now. Start the metronome, so we got one minute rounds. What we're going to do is have the metronome counting seconds for us. So we're going to go five seconds on the way down. We're going to hover for five seconds right at the bottom, and then five seconds on the way up. And we're going to do that for the minute. All right, to get started, ready? Let's get into split stance position. Lowering down. Two, three, four, five, and we're hovering. Four, five, standing up. Two, three, Four, I'm squeezing my glute here, dropping right back down. No rest at the top. Hover. Bringing it up. 
five, squeeze the butt and then drop back down. Hover. Bringing it back up. Back down. Hover. Back up. And dropping down to finish. And switch. And shake that leg out. And then we're going to the other side. You'll find one side typically is harder than the other. If this is too hard, you can also always hold on. You don't have to go down all the way, so you can just hold in whatever position you need to instead of going all the way down and hovering. You can also elevate your knee on blocks if need be. So you might rest here for a bit, and then work up, and then you can take the blocks away over time. So lots of different ways to modify here. The easiest way would just be to hold this stance, try to stay upright for the whole minute, come out of it if you need to. All right, sit up next side, lowering down, hovering, back up, back down, hovering, Back up, squeeze the glute, bring it down, hover, back up, back down, hover, back up. Back down to finish. And rest. Okay, shake that out. Now we're going into dips. So get your chair, get in position. Ready? And lowering down. Coming up slow. Now we're gonna hold at the top. Lock the triceps out. Bring it down slow. And up. Hold the top, squeeze the top. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your triceps. Lower back down. And up. Hold the top, lower down, back up, hold, lower down, and come on out of it. Shake the arms up, and then if you have your ball, grab the ball. If not, you're just putting your feet on the chair or the couch. Okay, we're doing hamstring curls with the physio ball. All right, so this one we're gonna go lift up with straight legs, hold for five. Bring the ball in slowly for five. Hold at the top. Give yourself a little extra bridge for five and then send it back out slowly for five. So we'll be doing four different five counts. Starting legs straight, hold. Three. Four, five, bringing it in. Two, three, four, five. Now lift up a little bit more, put pressure into the ball. Three, four, five, send it out slow. Four, five, hold. Slowly bring it in, keep pressure down into the ball. Hold, get a little higher. Send it out slow, keep the pressure in the ball. Legs straight, lift a little higher, keep a little pelvic tilt. 
Bring it in slow, keep the pressure dug into the ball. Stay lifted, hold. Send it out, and lower down. Okay, that's three exercises. Now we're bent over row. So find the band if you have it, otherwise just use the tension in your muscles. Imagine you have some resistance. So I'm gonna use the band, I'm gonna step on it, cross it, get into my position. So it's gonna be five seconds up, five seconds at the top, five seconds down, no rest at the bottom, bring it right back up. And pulling up. Hold. Find the lats under the armpits. Straightening the arms out, keep the tension in the band. Back up. Hold. Neck is free. Bring it down. Back up. Hold. Back down, keeping the tension. Back up. Pull the belly button in, keep your core engaged. Hold. Long spine, crown of the head reaches away from the tailbone. Straighten the arms. Bend. Think about the shoulder blades moving away from each other. And relax. Okay, that's one round. Got four more of those. Back to split squats. Right, I'm going to start my right leg back. We're doing both, so it doesn't matter which one you start with. This time I'm going to put my foot against the wall. Hover. Up. Back down. Hover. Up. Back down. Hover. Up. Down. Hover. Up. Down. And rest. Shake that leg out. And we got the other side. Get in position. And go. Down. Hover. Up. Down. Hover. Up. Down. Hover. Up. Down. Hover. Up. Down. Up. And done. Those are brutal. Shake that out. And then we're on to the dips. Get your chair, get in position. If you want to go legs a little straighter this time, test that out. Okay, so we're holding at the top, down for five, up for five. No hold at the bottom. Sink down. Up. Lock out, squeeze. Down. Up. 
hold, down, up, hold, lower down, slow, up, Hold and lower down. Step out of it, shake out the arms. Okay? Get the physio ball if you have it. This time I'm actually going to show it without the physio ball for those who don't have one. So we're just going to put a feet on a chair or a bench or a sofa and I'm just bridging, curling up curling down. So curling up, holding the top, curling down. Back up, keeping the heels pressed down, hold, feel the hamstrings, feel the glutes, no lower back. Bring it down, I'm going to open up my posture by having my arms go out. No need to hold at the bottom, go right back up. Squeeze at the top, reach your arms away, open the space between the shoulder blades. Bring it down slow. Bringing it back up, curling up. Squeezing buttocks, squeezing hamstrings. Lowering down, and resting, okay, bent over row. So I'll demonstrate another option for the bent over rows. We have the stick that we use for the warm up, so this could be a broomstick. We're just going to bend over and use this as our rowing device. Okay, so again, five seconds up, hold the top for five. Slowly lower down, no need to rest at the bottom. Let's do it. Pulling up. Squeeze, feel the underside of the armpit. Underneath here, straighten out. Back up. If you have the broomstick, try to bend it. Work your grip, hold. Slowly straighten out. Bring it back up. Keeping tension, finding tension in the lats, abs, pelvic floor draws up, slowly straighten, keep those hips back, bring it back up, make light contact below the chest, crown of the head long, feel the squeeze, shoulders out of the ears, slowly straighten, make this hard by breaking the stick, bend it. Feel under the armpit, feel the lats, hold, bring it back up, rest, okay? So the whole back side of the body should be engaged there. You feel under the armpits. The tendency is to want to squeeze the shoulder blades, but that ends up just pulling the shoulders up and it ends up decreasing your range of motion. So think, work long, keep the, the chest open, keep the space between the shoulder blades open, work the lats underneath the armpits, and then you'll feel the whole back side of your body tighten up. If that's too much on your back, use a little bit more core, use a little bit of pelvic floor. You might just have to stand up, maybe a minute's too long. Okay, so that's round two. Back to the split squats. These are obviously the most fun. All right, so let's get back into split squat position. I'm gonna start from the bottom this time just to make sure I'm in the right position. And then I'm gonna use Work on going straight up, slowly up, slowly down, holding and hovering, back up, back down, holding and hovering, back up. Back down, 
holding and hovering. And up. And back down. And hover. Back up. And down to finish. And rest. Shake that out. And then we're on to the other side. So again, I'm going to start from the bottom. And again, if you have an elevated knee, you can start from the bottom with a yoga block. Just to say that you know your knee is right under the hip to start. And then you can come up from there. And then throughout the set, try to hover right over that stopping point. So I'll demonstrate. This hip's a little tighter on me anyway, so I'll have my knee a little bit elevated here. All right, starting moving up, back down, hover, back up, squeeze and drop. Hover, back up, back down, hover, back up, back down, and up, hover. And up, and rest. Almost wanted to give up on that hover at the bottom there. All right, so feel the warmth in the thighs, shake it out, then we're back to dips. Okay, if this is too tight on the shoulders, you can obviously not even bend the elbows, you can just work drop down, lift up, and focus more at the top here, which helps to open your shoulders. Sometimes with a slight elbow bend, that can be a lot of torque on the shoulders, especially if you don't have the ability to internally rotate the shoulder. So either just go down just a little bit and then spend most of your time up here. You can still feel the tricep, you can still feel the glute lifting you. If you feel, if you're going slow here, you can actually work on improving the range of motion of your shoulder as you're dipping down. Just go slow with it. That's the whole idea of what we're doing here. So you'll be able to get into deeper ranges of motion than you otherwise would because of the slow tempo. All right, so find your challenge and let's lower down. And up. And hold. And down. And up, and hold, and down, and up, and hold, and down. And up, and hold, and out of it. Okay, shake that out. I'm going to go back to the physio ball for this one. Back to the hamstring curl. Starting with legs straight. The closer your ankles are, the farther the ball is away from your butt, the harder it is. So if you want to make it a little easier, you can also bring the ball a little closer to your butt, shorten the lever arm. All right, we're lifting up, hold. Bringing it in. Hold and lift. 
Send it out slow. Hold. Bringing it in, keeping pressure into the ball. Hold. Sending it out. Hold. Bringing it in slow. Hold. Sending it out. And hold. Lower down slowly. So with each round, everything gets a little harder. We get a little bit more fatigue. So feel free to come down and rest at any point. A minute is a long time, especially as we accumulate rounds. Okay. So now we're into bent over row. Use the band again. Stepping on the band. And pulling up. Hold, feel the lats working. Straighten the arms, keeping the tension. Bringing it up. Hold. Straightening out. And up. Hold. Straightening the arms. Back up. And hold. Straightening out. Back up. Hold. And rest. Okay. Two more rounds. Back to the wall for the split squats. Starting from the bottom. And you might see me taking some rest with this one. All right, so going up first to start, or if you're starting from the top, you can work yourself down. Up for five. Squeeze and drop. Hover. Up. Back down. Hover. Up. Hold and down. Hover. Back up. And down. And hold. And out of it. Switch sides. Start from the bottom. Ear, shoulder, hip, and knee in alignment. Working up. Back down. Hold. And up. And down. Hold. Back up. Whew. Resting at the top. Bringing it down. I'm gonna rest at the bottom for a second. Keep going if you're better than me. And bring it back up. Back down. Back up. And done. Shake that out and then we're back to 
the dips. So in the last workout we did, we worked on just the two-legged squat on the way down for tempo, which can be challenging enough. If that isn't challenging enough with just your body weight and you don't have any way to add resistance, the split squat is your next progression. And you can feel how much harder it is because you're basically on one leg at a time. So you don't really need much resistance from any weights or anything external. Just tempo uh, will give you plenty of challenge with the split squat. All right, back to the dip. Working your way down. Down. Up. Hold. Down. Up. Hold. Down. Up. Hold. Down. Up. Hold. And down. Come on now. Shake the arms out. And I'll go back to just doing feet on the stool. If you have the physio ball and you want to stay with that, you use that. Okay. Knees bent. So this time I'm going to go with a little bit straighter version of the bridge. Up and down holding. You can go knees bent, or again, you can use the ball. Curling up. And hold. Curling down. Right back up. And hold. And coming down. And up. And hold. And down. One vertebra at a time on the way down. Curl it back up. Hold the top and squeeze. If your legs are straight, you're reaching your arms long, reaching your legs long. Curling down. Back up. And bringing that down. So obviously with the physio ball, when you bring it back in, there's an extra hold. You hold with the legs straight and you hold with the legs bent. If you're not using the physio ball, you'll have one less hold. The key is just to keep tension the whole time, regardless what you're doing, trying to minimize rest so you get a full minute of time under tension and you're just maximizing uh, your muscle contractions there. All right, so now we'll go back to bent over row. I'm gonna use the band again. Standing cross and pulling up. Squeeze. Straightening out, bend, squeeze, straightening the arms, and bending, and hold, straightening them out, bending, Hold. Straightening out. Pulling back up. Hold. Straightening out. Pulling up. Hold. 
and done. Okay, last round. Getting in position. I'm going to use the wall again for the split squat. This time I think I'll start from the top and lowering down. Hover. Back up. Back down. Hover. Back up. Back down. Hold. Back up. Back down. Hold. Back up. And down. Switch. One more leg. Getting in position. And down. Hold. Up. Down. Hold. Up. Down. Hold. Resting at the bottom. Up. Down. Resting at the bottom, getting the hip in right position. Bring it back up. Back down to finish. Done with those. Whew. All right, last round of dips. Right into it. Down. Hold. Actually come up slow, we'll hold at the top. Hold. Down. Up. Hold. Down. Up. Hold. And down. And up. And hold. And down. And down. Okay. Bridges or hamstring curls. I use the ball for the last round. Right into it. Lifting up, hold. Bringing the ball in. Hold and lift. Sending it out. And hold. Bringing it in. Hold. Sending it out. Hold. Bringing it in. Keep the pressure into the ball. Lift up. Hold. Back down. Hold. Straight legs. Keep the pelvic tilt. 
and rest. And we finish with bent over rows. I'm going to go back to the broomstick this time, and I'm going to go underhand grip to finish. Get in the hinge position, pulling up, hold, and I'm going to spread the stick at the top, feel the space between my shoulder blades open, feel my lats engage, back down, back up. Spread the stick, long neck, bring it back down, back up, hold and spread, straighten out, bring it back up, hold and spread, straighten the arms, Back up. Hold and spread. And rest. Alright. Let's cool down for a few seconds or a few minutes. Alright, so we're going to sit on the ground and we're going to take on the Z sit position. So, in this position, we got the front leg here is what's called externally rotated in the hip. Back legs internally rotated. The easiest way to start is frame the externally rotated leg with your hands because this is going to be the tighter side. It's going to want to kick you to this leg. So all I want us to do here is see how close we can get ourselves comfortably to this side. So we'll start framing this leg and then if able, you take one hand on the one knee, the other hand on the other knee. If that's too tight in this hip, just stay over here. If you can go farther, you're going to grab, so this is my right leg, I'm going to use my right hand to grab my right foot. My left hand will touch my left heel. And then try to rotate my nose towards the back knee. Take a few breaths here. If you have to be here, you stay here and then you take your breaths here. When you inhale, I want you to feel like you get big, you expand. Gives you a little bit of space. When you exhale, you pull your belly button in. See if you could twist yourself a little bit more nose towards this back knee. If you're already here, just breathe. Every exhale, you compress a little bit more towards this side. This is improving your hip rotation, specifically internal rotation in this back hip. Breathing in, fill up your belly, fill up your chest. Exhale, pull the belly button to the spine. Try to use your oblique muscles to turn yourself towards this internally rotated leg. One more breath, fill up. Pull in, twist a bit, and relax. Switch sides. And we'll, again, we'll start with framing the knee with your hands. Get nice and tall, just see if you can be there. And see if you can take one hand on the one knee, one hand on the other, be tall there. If you're still okay, grab your foot. So my left hand grabs my left toe, right hand touches the right heel. And then I'm going to breathe myself over to this right side. So inhale, inflate, like you're blowing up a tire, gives you a little bit more stability. Exhale, pull your belly in. Think about bringing your right ribs to your right pelvis, which is going to rotate you more to the right. The right knee should stay heavy, as well as the outside of the left knee. So I don't want to turn to this side and have this knee come up. Just want to breathe in. Exhale, pull the belly button to spine, turn nose over knee. You can think about moving this knee in towards the groin, which helps to help me rotate there. One more breath in, and one more exhale. Belly button, spine, twist. All right, we'll come out of that. Hands on the ground, and just let the legs shake side to side. All right, and then we're gonna take on the most comfortable position we can. So if you can sit cross-legged, sit cross-legged. If you need to sit against the wall, sit against the wall, either cross-legged or legs straight out like so. And we're just going to take a couple belly breaths, hands on the belly, inhale through the nose quietly, fill the tummy, hold. You want to feel like you can breathe into the wall as well as into your belly. Exhale, you slowly get narrow. You pull your belly button inward, pelvic floor upward. Breathe out, breathe out, breathe out. 
Slowly breathe in again, fill up, not into the shoulders, into the belly, into the back, into the front and back of the chest. Hold that for a few seconds and then slowly deflate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more breath in. Two, three, four. Hold. One, two, three, four. And then out, slowly narrowing. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Thank you for your time today. If you have any questions, feel free to email me, chris at movementprofessional.com. Hope you enjoyed the class.